Good everyone, my name is Graphics. In this video, we want to construct angle 67 and a half and angle 112 and a half. So what you are going to do here is you take your pencil and you draw your horizontal line this way. So if I pick a point, and I will just draw my horizontal line this way. So I am picking point A. Let's see from here. And this will be my point A. Right? So from that point A, I'm going to use my C square standing on my T square this way. And I'll draw a vertical line this way. And that line represents my 90 degree. So as me we are told to construct 90 degree, I will just take in this this way. Right? So I'll take in just this point to this point, which will give us what? Angle what? Angle 90. But the video says we should not construct 90. We should only construct angle. First angle there is what? 67 and a half. Now, I said earlier that when your C square is standing this way in this manner, right? The inclined axis here is giving us what? It's giving us 60 degree. And the reason I'm using 60 is that if you look at 67 and a half, it has two, it has a special angle. And only special angle is what? It's 60. So 60 plus 7 and a half. Will give us what 67 and a half. Am I correct? Now, what I will now do is I will now take your C square that has 60 degree, which is this. I will now draw the angle 60 degree this way. So it means that the distance from this horizontal axis here, here is zero degree, right? To this point here is giving us what 60 degree. Is that the key now? Now, in between, if you remove from 0 to here, this point here is giving us what? As 90. So you can look that very well. From 0 to that point here is giving us what? As 90. So in between 60 and 90. In between 60 and what? And 90, the angle in between them is given to be what? 30. Because 60 minus 90. Is 30 degrees so I'll name this point to be my a prime I'll name this point to be my a prime prime now if I bisect 60 and 90 that is bisect a prime this way and a prime prime this way I'll get a center point the center point is where both of them meet right and I'll connect it to the point a here according, according to this point a here is that the king and i'll just draw my line this way so it means that from this point to my new point here let me show you from this point to my new point here so i'll call it to be still my a prime here and i'll call it to be what my b prime right the angle between both of them is given to be what? 15 degrees. Because when you bisect 30, the angle between here and here will be 15. The angle between here and here will be what? 15. So since I'm moving in an anticlockwise direction, right? So I'll have to bisect the angle between A prime and B prime, which we know it is what? 15. So with any given radius, if I place my compass here, right? And I strike an arc this way, I place it here also. I shall add this way. Where they meet, I will draw my line to pass through that point. Is that the key? I'll draw my line to pass through that point. So this is what we have here. Is that the key? Now, let me now say that the angle between this point, A prime, and this new line here, the angle between this A prime, right? And let me call it this to be what c prime 
it will now be what 15 degree that means when you bisect b prime and a b prime and a prime you are going to be getting a prime and c prime and we know that b prime a prime is what 30 degree and when you bisect me divide 30 into 2 you'll be having what 15. so the angle between a prime and c prime is what seven and a half because 15 divided by two is seven and a half right so 60 plus seven and a half is going to be giving us 67 and a half at this point here so the angle from here to here the angle from this point here to here is given to be what 67 and a half the angle between here to this point here this is what 67 and a half but when you add 60 and seven and a half you'll be having seven and a half so i will just tick in this point here from this point here to this point here that will be my a and my b so the angle between them is what 67 and a half right so this is how you can construct your angle what your angle 67 and a half now the next one is angle 112 and they have 112 and a half or 112.5 what you do is this where when you say 112 it is greater than what 90 so it's falling at the other side right so if i use my 45 degrees square is that the key and if you look at 112 and they have just like we did earlier is seven and a half what will you add we have four special angles with an angle 90 right angle 45 angle 60 and angle 15. now the closest to 112 is what 90. so 90 minus 112 will give you what uh will give us um 22 and a half right and to draw the half if you multiply it by 2 you'll be having 45. so that means we need 45 degree to get what 22 and a half so that's why i'm using this my 45 degree so if i place it here and I draw this angle this way. You can see that on my set square. So the angle from here, if I move from here, the angle between a prime prime, the angle between a prime prime. Let me put it this way. You know that this vertical line here is a prime prime. So I'll say the angle between a prime prime again, and let me call it to be what my d prime i'm just using this so that you get to understand is what is 45 right so if i bisect 45 that is if i bisect a prime prime and d prime if i bisect it this way this way i'm going to be having angle i'll be having this inclined line here that is 22 and a half so it means that from this point from this point here from a prime prime to this point let's say this is still my a prime prime to this point here let's call it e prime it's given as what 22 and a half so from here to here it's 22 and a half and also from here to here 22 and a half but we are going in an anticlockwise manner so 22 and a half is between a prime prime and e prime so 22 and a half plus 90 will give us what? 22 and a half plus 90 will give us what? 112 plus 112 and a half, right? So the angle between this point straight down to this point is what? So I'll just take my uh, my compass. Then I'm going to connect from this point if I like. I can say from here to here, any way I want to. So the angle between this point and this point the rest is just faint line the angle between this point from this inclined line and this is 112.5 or 112 and so this is how you construct it so depend on what you actually want if you want both of them you put them together you put them separately so this is how you can construct 112 and what 112 and a half right so if you have found this video helpful 
please don't forget to click on the subscribe button thanks for watching